So this is Let's Be Honest Now. My name is Jennifer, and today we have Stephanie with me. Hi, How Jen. are you, Steph? I'm fine, thank you. For you that don't know, this is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. So, You're Stephanie, joking, I'm your friend? No, you are my friend. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. So back to the topic. <laughs> so we're going to start with our normal game, which is one for one. So what it is, I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm not ask you questions. That's later. So I'm going to give you a word, and you're going to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. So don't think too hard. Literally, the first thing that comes to your mind, okay. and say it out loud. Okay? <laughs> okay. Are you nervous? Yep. <laughs> so we're going to start with the first one. You ready? Yep. Forgiveness. Christ. Faith. Belief. Friends. Family. <laughs> Identity. Ooh. Undiscovered. Eternity. Heaven. Character. Mm. Lost. Purpose. Fulfilled. Endurance. Race. Family. Love. You can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I, was, I, I wasn't breathing out. <laughs> It's okay. That was hard, you know. Those games are not easy. Why no. did you find it hard? Because, like, the first thing, it's like, you don't know what's going to come out of your mouth. Mm. And it's like, sometimes we like to sugarcoat things and, yeah. you know, like, make it seem pretty. But I didn't, as you can see from my answers. So, yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll be just as honest with the answers oh, yes. to the questions. Let's be honest. Woo. So, we're going to start with the first question. Cool. So, why Christianity? What made you pick this religion or this faith out of all the ones. There's so many out there and everyone seems to be making up new ones every day, like the Beyonce religion yeah, I've, seen that I've heard about. Ooh. So what made you pick Christianity? Oh, Christianity, oh, Christianity. Um, for those that don't know, I was born in the church. So both of my parents are pastors. Um, they got saved in their twenties, I would say. Mm -hmm. Got married in the church and all of that. So it was like, automatic Christianity kind of thing, I would say. Um, you know, like, what, not the rules, but what is good and what is bad, mm. um, what's allowed in church, what to wear outside of church, mm. all those things come into play, but you you don't know Christ for yourself, mm. which is um, a big thing, especially because with our faith, it's about you and God. Yeah. That's the first thing, that's the foundation of it. So, um, it was only until I got saved which was about five, six years ago, that um, that was my time. Yeah. That was for me, it wasn't, oh, my parents are pastors, so I have to walk in this way yeah. or anything like that. It was, this was what I believed. This was what I had experienced. This is what I had gone through. It was like my eyes kind of opened to a new thing. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't new because I knew about it, but it was new because I was part of it now. Okay. So it was like a completely different spin on things. So yeah. When did you realize you weren't, because you, growing up in the church, I grew up in the church as well. When, when was the changeover for you? You know when you grow up in the church, you just think I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. I'm being a good person. Mm -hmm. I'm on the right path. When did you realize that? You had to know him for yourself. What made you realise that? Um, okay, I know this specifically. Um, we had our church anniversary, um, probably like our 10th anniversary, and I was singing, I was ministering. I thought I was anyway. Yeah. And in my mind, different thoughts were going through my head, like, is this real? Do I mean these words? Am I actually worshipping God? You know, everyone's um, got their eyes closed and whatnot. And in my mind, I, my, my thoughts were everywhere. Mm. So I was like, is this for real, like, kind of thing? And it was that day that I made a decision that, that okay, God, I actually want to be real with you. I want to know you for who you are and not do it because... I have to in a way. Yeah. You know, the Bible says parents bring up your children in the way of the Lord, which is exactly what my parents did. But I still had to seek that out for myself. Yeah. So it was in that moment that I decided that, you know, God, I'm willing to surrender myself in that way. Um, yeah, and find you. Look look for you, basically. How's it been so far? Uh, it's been a roller coaster. <laughs> 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 there are times where it's not pretty. Yeah. There are times where it's like, you feel so alone, you feel lost, but there are times where you're in, you're in like peace. Yeah. There are times where um, you have people surrounding you that you thought you'd never have. So yeah, it has its ups and downs, like I'm not gonna lie. Uh. It's not always pretty, but 
it's that faith that I hold on to and I won't let go. <laughs> so, second question. Ooh. As <laughs> from personal experience, what do you think is the most difficult thing about being a woman? Jeez. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, for me, I think it's identity and self-confidence. Mm. I, 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 I think self-confidence comes under identity. Yeah. I say identity because um, I know there, there, there was a period in time that I didn't know myself. I didn't know why I would do certain things. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about myself. I would base who I am on what people tell me. So mm. Stephanie, you're pretty, but then Stephanie, you're ugly. Stephanie, you're fat, but Stephanie, you've got a nice figure. Stephanie, you're a great singer. Stephanie, you need to try harder. So it was just different things from people's mouths that I was shaping myself. It was yeah. like someone gave me clay and said, or a pencil and said, draw yourself. But I'm waiting for people to tell me, okay, your hair's black and I'm drawing and stuff like that. Yeah. So that, yeah. that's where it came from. So I think identity is a big thing because if we, as women, knew ourselves, we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have issues like self-confidence mm. or have to put our trust in someone else, you know, in situations where we shouldn't. We should be able to stand strong by ourselves, which is things I'm learning as yeah. I'm going. Um, I'm not there yet, but I will get there. Um, slowly finding out who I am in Christ. There's no, there's nowhere else to find who you are. Yeah, yeah. If I say God is my creator, that means I have to go back to him and say, who am I? Yeah. I can't find that answer nowhere else, so yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Nearly done. Hot in here. <laughs> so we have one more question for you. Okay. So we all know one day everybody is going to pass. Everyone's head going to expire. Yeah. So what is the one thing you'd like to be remembered for? Ooh. Yes, girl, we took Ooh. it there. <laughs> we took it there. Um, anyone that knows me knows I'm very about my purpose. Um, I think that's one thing that if someone was to like, say, oh, who was Stephanie? Someone that fulfilled what she was meant to do. I, that's a big thing for me because if I've been given a life here on earth without me having something to do, then my ex my um, existence is meaningless to me. Um, so, yeah, basically doing what I need to do, whatever it is that I was meant to do, that I've done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not that Stephanie was here and she was just here. No, <laughs> Stephanie was here and God gave she her this and she mark. completed it. Like, that's that's my mission. Yeah. <laughs> You feel good? Yeah, I feel like really <laughs> that was the last question. Okay, so how how do you think this went? You feeling a bit Yeah, calmer? I feel good. <laughs> like I feel I think it's good that yeah. I'm able to be this honest because I've never, never yeah. ever been like this. Like it took a while for me to get to a place where I can tell someone that's close to me or whatever that this is what I'm going through or this is how I feel or yeah, not taking off that mask. Yeah. Taking off that pretense and just being real, like you know, I struggle with this, I don't like this, but I like this, but is it good to like this or is it wrong to like this? So yeah, let's be honest now. <laughs> and that is the whole purpose of Let's Be Honest Now. So I hope you do appreciate the raw honesty that we are giving to you in all these interviews. And if you haven't tuned into the other interviews, please do, please do tune in. Everyone is as real and as honest as Steph is being. And I hope you enjoyed this interview. And that's it from us today. Woo! Bye guys. <laughs> Bye.